This video is going to teach you the ridiculously easiest way to run large language models on your local computer. Nothing like fancy. And it is available for Macintosh and also Linux users. I'm really sorry. Windows users, your love for Windows is going to cost you this approach. We're going to use Olama, which is very popular at this point. I'm probably like the last YouTuber to make a video about Olama. But I want to make an extensive video to show you what all the things that you can do with Olama and why it is probably one of the best ways for you to run the local large language models and why you should probably start using it. First, I would like to show you a quick demo of how I use Olama and then you can probably see what are the use cases that you might fit in. For example, first, let me show you my terminal. So I've got like Olama run Mistral and I can go ahead and then ask a question. Suggest me a YouTube title for OpenAI sucks. OpenAI sucks, the truth about the overhyped OpenAI company. I said more options. It says, it gives me five options. The misleading marketing of OpenAI, separating fact from fiction and it gives me all the other things. Now I can just simply go say bye. That means Mistral is gone. Now let's say I want to run Olama with Llama 2. So I can just go ahead and then say Olama Llama 2 and I'm going to get Olama with Llama 2. And it's as simple as that. If the model is not available, it is going to download the model and it is going to give it to you. And how is it possible? It is possible. Let me exit first. And it is possible because we have an amazing open source library. And I know a lot of you are fans of LM Studio. LM Studio, even if it has got a GitHub repository, is not completely open source. I'm not saying that they are bad. They are good. I, I don't I don't deny that they are bad. Um, I don't deny that they are good. But the fact that you don't know what is happening behind the scenes. I don't know if they have any kind of packets coming into your computer going out. But the good thing with Olama is everything inside Olama is completely open source. So you can trust the solution and install it unless until you know somebody actually decides to install a malware that you know the developer doesn't even notice but it's very unlikely because you know every single commit you can go ahead and then see it every single uh, thing that has gone inside olama is available for you to check it so you can trust this and install it so that you don't have to be in the fear that somebody is reading your keystroke or understanding your pattern or uh, having some kind of analytic script so i would any day prefer olama to lm studio but if you are a fan of lm studio using lm studio completely fine i don't want to scare you so now what is olama olama is an amazing project from uh, this amazing person jeffrey morgan so jeffrey morgan thank you so much for olama so olama is an mit license project that lets you run llama 2 or any other models large language models super easy super 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 easy so all you have to go do is go to this repository or go to this website olama.ai and click download it is available for mac os and linux and it is also available for wsl2 wsl2 so yeah if you have windows if it supports wsl then you can install this inside your windows linux subsystem so you can technically use it within windows but not necessarily like the perfect way like the native way of using it and it also gives you a docker image if you want to run it so you have different ways to run it but i would say the easiest way is go here click download click install once you click install it will ask you to move the application to applications folder if you're on mac and that's it you're done and ready to set up and go ahead so then you need to just do old llama run llama 2 that means it's going to download llama 2 if you say Olama run Mistral, it's going to download Mistral. If you say Olama code la run code Lama, then it is going to download the code Lama. If you say Olama run Lama to uncensored, it is going to download Olama. Uh, sorry, it's going to download the Lama to uncensored model. So anything that you mentioned here, it's going to download that particular model from Hugging Faces Model Hub. And you can go ahead and then see what are all the models that are currently supported. You have Mistral, Llama 2 Code Llama, Vicuna, Llama 2 Uncensored, Orca Mini, Newest Hermes, Fint Code Llama, Mistral Open Orca, and all these models, all these models are supported by Olama at this point. So it's it's a it's an extensive coverage of large language models. And in fact, for that matter, it doesn't ask you to install anything specifically. It doesn't it doesn't put that onus on you to a hey, install transformers install do this do this do this it does everything for you by itself now let me quickly show you how did i run this um, for example because these models are uh, already um, available in this list it's very easy for you to run it so all you have to do is go here and then say old llama and specify the model name so run let's say in this case i'm going to say code let me copy this so that it's easier for me to run or we can even go ahead and then get from one of the libraries i'm going to go here and then um, let's say i'm going to pick samantha mistral and i'm going to copy this 
come back here and I'm going to paste this. And once I run this, it's going to start downloading the Samantha Mistral model into my local computer. It technically gets the quantized version, but I don't want it right now. So I'm going to stop this, but it is as simple as that. Once you have that thing, then you have those models within your reach for you to use it anytime. So like I did, so you can just say Olama Mistral, run Mistral, and it is going to run the Mistral model for you locally. And it says send a message. I can ask any question. What is the capital of India? And it is going to give me an answer. So depending upon the kind of computer you have, uh, depending upon the number of input prompts, depending upon the number of output prompts, the time it takes uh, is going to change. But I have got an Intel Mac with 32 GB RAM, quite old, like probably four or five years old. And it runs pretty fine on this machine. Like for example, I can go ahead and then say, um, my morning seems effed up. Um, any thoughts and it's going to probably come up with some kind of motivation for me okay i'm sorry to hear that you are having a rough morning it's important to remember that everyone has days off has off days it's okay for you to feel blah 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 the typical ai thing that tries to console me but honestly speaking it's it's very good it's very good because you have got um, a model just within your terminal and uh, see honestly like if you do not know how to use terminal all you have to do is on Linux or Mac, open your terminal or shell and all you have to do is Olama, install Olama, then open your terminal and then just say Olama space run space minstrel. You don't need like a programming knowledge for this. You don't need any advanced skills. This is all it requires. Download the file and then go to your shell or terminal and run Olama space run space whatever the model that you want. As simple as that. But now we are going to switch our gears a little bit into the advanced section. So as you can see, like right now, I've got like my left hand side and uh, you might have noticed why, why did this guy keep this? Like, why is he wasting the real estate with half a screen? Like is he whatever, right? So the point here is that not just you can run Olama models, like models using Olama within your CLI, like which is in the command level, but also you can offer these models or expose these models as API. That means it unlocks amazing possibilities because you know for sure, like uh, if you were to use, uh, let's say Langchain, or if you were to use Llama Index, if you were to use a lot of other models in this world, typically people would say, okay, go use OpenAI because you need an API endpoint that supports OpenAI format. That's, that's typically what we have been doing all along. Because you are using Olama, it gives you the possibility to expose the model that you just downloaded as an endpoint that means that endpoint can be added to your lang chain or llama index or any of these uh, solutions that you have got and you can use lang chain with olama locally so this enables you to set up automations workflows create content take a pdf do whatever you want so it's, it's very simple i'm not going to go into the lang chain part in this particular video but for example you can go ahead and then see and let me know in the comment section if you want me to put together a separate tutorial for it I, i'm very happy to do it but i'm going to show you how to expose it as an api very shortly but even before doing that there are certain other aspects as well like for example you don't want to use it in command line you want to use it with a chatbot like ui you can go to this particular project html ui which is basically olama ui and then you can start chatting with it like depending upon what you want the community has got solutions for you built on top of Olama. So you have got a lot of different solutions, command line UI, uh, like a terminal UI, or graphical user interface, or connection with other libraries, everything is possible with Olama. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can offer this as an API. First, let me show you what I've done before. If you have offered any model that you have got as an API, like if you expose that model as an API, you will typically get the model running on this endpoint, the localhost 11434 that's the endpoint where it is going to run and uh, you can specify in the model uh, when you send the response you when you send the model um, whatever the question that you are asking the request then you can specify the model name and you can specify the model prompt like what you want to ask and then it is going to give you the answer it's going to typically give you all the answers that you want like for example i said why is the sky blue so it says the sky appears blue because of a phenomenon on cal phenomenon on called ray lay 
so you can see like i can reduce the size of this and then you can probably see it easily and uh, it it is uh, separated by tokens uh, i can go ahead and ask a question what is the capital of india it says the capital of india is new delhi dot comma so all the tokens are individually streamed that also gives you the ability to stream the output like if you have a graphical user interface you can easily stream the output and uh, how do you how do you run this it's uh, super simple so i'm going to just say bye hey should i say thank you yeah let me thank thank you for the advice i feel great got to go what 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 is it going to say it's going to say yeah you're welcome cool okay it's important to take care thank you very much i know bye clear this olama serve that's it all i have to do is say olama serve once i do this it says 12700.1.0111434 is already in use that means because i'm using the olama gui it's it's actually already available it's been already served so i all i have to do is go here and uh, copy the same curl that i used before i'm going to paste maybe instead of why sky is blue let me ask a different question i'm going to ask a simple question give maybe that will be simple so give me give give me the only one word that you like no explanations please let's see if it can answer so i've sent you to the llama 2 model uh, as you know i've already got a llama 2 model and i've got a mistral model and we are going to see the response in the next section we are actually going to see how we can use a local ggguf model so anything that is not supported here we can download as ggguf model and we can use it i'm going to show you next okay it says done 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 it says as jazz jazz, jazz. So the only word word that it likes is jazz, and you can see the prompt eval count, the duration, everything. So now what we did is we took the model that we have downloaded, we exposed that model as an endpoint API endpoint, we made a request, we got a response back, and this is basically what OpenAI has been doing. So you can pretty much like if you have a lot of workflows on your local machine. completely relying on open ai i think this is one of the best ways for you to explore for example there are vs code extensions that lets you replace open ai api with some kind of locally running api endpoint and you can use that as a coding assistant like for example the model that we recently covered consider that model like the deep seek coder you can probably replace that with your any other paying subscription that you have got i'm not saying like this is going to change completely your open ai reliance but this is i think one of the best ways for you to reduce your reliance on open ai and um, now you might ask me hey are you a hypocrite because you are paying for open ai uh, chat gpt plus subscription the way i use chat gpt plus um, i create thumbnails from it i create uh, sometimes content explanations uh, content ideas how to deliver a content how to explain it in easy way i think for me the use cases are lo lot more and i also need to create content so that's why i keep on paying the 23 dollars including taxes but if you do not have that much requirement you don't have to pay the free version chat gpt with all these local models with characters which i'll show you soon can uh, be quite beneficial so what did we learn so far we learned how to run local uh, language models using olama uh, different models and we also learned how to show them as an api endpoint that's what we did olama serve and uh, the endpoint has been already served and uh, we made a call with the curl that means you can use a uh, high http or python libraries like a request and you can use javascript any other language and make a call this is all done now we are entering into one level above which is slightly more advanced territory so what is it now i've uh, i've got a model um, and i've got a model that is called mario so let me make the curl and i'm going to just say i want it to be on the model called mario mario and uh, i'm going to just say mario mario and let's see what it says so i have a model that is called mario so the idea of that model is uh, have a personality like mario in the game then the nintendo game and as you can see mario comes up with a response called coin c o i n so i don't know why mario likes coin oh mario has to collect coins okay anyways how did i build this model called mario that's the question and it's super simple i'm going to show you now so what i'm going to do you do is i'm going to open a file called 
model file model file in my current working directory the folder in which i'm currently working i have got a file called model file and inside this model file i've got certain details as you can see here first thing i'm specifying from mistral that means this model file tells olama to create a personality later on but from what or where the model should be picked up so it says okay first you need to use mistral model cool that's it done the next one is set the temperature to 1 so it means um it's a, it's a it's a it's a comment so parameter temperature is one so you want these models to be highly creative that's why like mario is not a real character so you set the parameter temperature as one next you set the system prompt so you say you are mario from super mario bros answer as mario the assistant only now you said what model to use you said what is the parameter um, the temperature in this case and you said what is the system prompt and after you do all these things all after you have done all these things you just save this entire thing as a model file m o d e l f i l e model file m is uppercase after you do all these things you basically exit after you exit all you have to do is o llama and uh, you have to say create let me even uh, clarify that before i actually tell you o llama create yeah you just have to say o llama create and what is the model name that you want to use and specify the model file for example in this case I can say olama create mario f model file once i do this thing i'm going to have a local characterized model large language model with the parameters that i specified with the system prompt and uh, i'll have that model to chat with like just like you just saw how i made a call to that and got a response and in fact i can chat with this thing this is almost similar like what character.ai is doing character.ai is a startup that has been funded a lot which lets you chat with the different characters and you have to pay for it like part of it you have to pay for it and all that is possible thanks to olama which also lets you specify the model the model parameters and the system prompt and you can create these kind of different flavors and you can keep it on your local computer and you can chat with them completely simple completely easy or just just click this it will be done it will create the model for you and then once you have created it then you have to say olama run mario when you say olama run mario you have got mario what's your name uh, i don't know if it says mario my name is mario okay but you may know me better as super mario Bros. okay no worries mario that's nice and um, this is the advanced one where you use one of the models that are supported and then create a character using system prompt and then use it now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go one level above further so now let's say you don't want to use any of the models that are supported here you want to use a completely different model so for example you have got a model here that is called tiny llama 1.1 billion i don't know i don't know a lot about this model uh, except that this model is like smaller in size so let's say this is the model you want to use you have identified a gguf file probably from the bloke or anybody else and you want to use this only this model within your olama how do you do that once again it's very simple first download this model go to this uh, the wherever hugging faces uh, repo that you have got click the files and versions and click the model that you want to download make sure it is a ggu uf model and then click the download button so in my case i've already downloaded it click the download option and store it locally once you click and store it that means it's stored locally so you know the name you know everything that you want to do now i'm going to just get the model um, once i get the model so i've got the file name here okay i've got the file name here i've copied the file name i have to go back to my terminal let me go back to my terminal i'm going to say my to mario and i'm going to create a new file model file or i can use the existing file okay let me use the existing file now what you have to do is you have to instead of mistral instead of giving mistral i'm going to specify that model file name so this is already downloaded in my current directory i'm going to say from pick up this and i don't want to change any of these things let's say i don't want to change any of this okay let me start here i don't want the system prompt to be like this and i'll set the temperature zero just to be clear or let it be one or let it be 0.5 I'm confused so i can set the model that is currently in local computer i'm not downloading it for a mugging face right now inside the terminal it's been already downloaded and this is all ready for me to use so 
all I have to do is save this exit save it y save it save it so my model file right now has got the tiny llama that we downloaded just from hugging face and I'm going to just say oh llama create I can say tiny llama and uh, f model file and it's going to create the model for us and uh, if everything is right or uh, fine it's going to say success at the end I want to clear this and I'm going to go ahead oh llama run tiny llama once I do this thing this is ready for me to chat I don't think this is a chat model let me say create a two line haiku about a youtuber who hates his job it doesn't create anything that means probably it's not a chat model so let me say something else um who are you Did it, will it answer something i'm curious i think blah, 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 blah. so it's not a, an instruct model and um, the point here is that how do you use a ggup model within your interface and in fact now you can still do the same thing you can um, you can still go ahead and uh, copy the curl let me copy the curl okay can come back and we just like literally in front of you we created this model as you can see and uh, I can go here and make the API call all I have to do is specify the model because we have already created the model tiny llama and uh, I've said give me one I don't think it's going to follow the instruction anyways let me send the same thing and you can see it is creating something 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 it's it just goes on creating this and all this is possible because one we have got the ggUF model that can run on your local computer and you can see the speed like I'm not editing this video for the time sake here in this particular case it's fast it's super fast depending upon your computer depending upon the size of the model depending upon the input prompt depending upon the output it has to generate but anyways the bottom line here is that we learned in this video that Olama is probably the ridiculously easiest simplest way to run large language models on your local computer not just it is the simplest but also it has versatility it lets you expose the model that you have got as an endpoint locally which means you can start using this as um, you know for uh, with all the other uh, ecosystem langchain llama index uh, vs code extensions and all these things and i said locally because it's a local host but if you use ngrok you can still download it over internet and you can you use it for demo purposes that's a separate topic altogether if you want to do that you can use tunneling local tunnel in grok all these things the second thing is you can give personality to these models have different system prompts the third thing is you can use any ggUF any quantized ggUF model from hugging face model hub or anywhere on the world download it locally and then create your own model using olama create whatever model that you want from the model file and all these things thanks to the open really truly open project from from jeffrey morgan mit licensed product absolutely love this product and this product um, keeps on developing so give your support give your love for this product i don't i don't know if uh, jeffrey is uh, looking for sponsors or uh, any kind of donation but uh, strongly appreciate supporting the project and um, this is us i hope the video <laughs> stayed true to its title that this is the ridiculously easiest way for you to run local large language models see you in another video happy prompting